Hello everybody, uh, Paul Kidwell here today, uh, working on Thumper. Uh, we were having some difficulty with the metering circuit for Thumper. It was reading all kinds of voltages, none of which actually reflect, reflected reality. So we took the old meter out, which was a very cheap uh, DC volt meter, and we replaced it with a micron meter. You can see the back here very large industrial DC voltmeter and now it looks like that. Um, this is a programmable meter so we were able to set it for exactly what voltages we were seeing out there. Uh, it's on a hundred to one ratio so there's a little voltage divider in the bottom of Thumper's tower and it'll output 20 volts when the bank is at 2000 which would never charge it up that far. But uh, as you go to charge the circuit, you can see our voltage ramps up. And I can tell you that the voltage we read here is almost exactly the same voltage as what's on the capacitor bank in the tower. We took a uh, separate voltmeter and measured the voltage there and compared it here. And at 300 volts, indicated on a multimeter there, we were reading about 302 over here. So it's almost exact. Um, this is the best metering we've had on Thumper so far. Um, we'd like to get similar meters for Arcturus, but uh, we need to get some um, AC input modules to get those working. Anyhow, that was our project for today. Um, we need to do a little more work on the firing switch for Thumper before we can actually detonate a can and we'll probably be taking care of that later. So, All right, we have removed the spacer from the stationary contact and found a new one. It's thinner. That'll allow us to have these two contacts come really close to each other but not actually touch. If they touch, there's a risk that they could actually weld themselves together. And we're under pressure right now, so there. All right, Justin, if you would go over, turn it to um, arm. It's already turned to arm. Go ahead and hit the red button. Yes, there we go. All right, and I am seeing a very narrow gap between the contacts. Cool. Yes, it is very good. Hold that in there just like that, Justin. I'm going to use a piece of plastic bag to verify that we have a gap all the way through. And it is. It's thin enough that I cannot put the blade of my screwdriver down into it. So probably 30 thousandths maybe, probably less than that. All right. So, we have repaired the firing switch for Thumper, and we can load up, oh, where's a good camera? Mountain Dew. I've got a whole bunch of those at home. Would prefer a Monster Energy drink can, however, I haven't drank one of them for a while, so there's none in there. The, uh, we're just a little wide for this. Okay. Arm, charge, charge. Do I have to hold it? You go ahead, you're doing sure. fine. You can do a whole, do a whole thing about it. All right, what Justin has just done is switch the key switch over to arm, the selector switch to charge. He's holding in the blue light, which is the charging light. The yellow light came on when he pressed it in, and it's commencing to charge the bank. Our new meter is telling us that we just crossed 750 volts. We're going to take this up somewhere north of 1500 and then fire. We just crossed 1000 volts. So when I get up to 1500, I release, switch you release, to fire. Switch to fire. Press push, the uh, red push. button in to arm the foot switch, and then whenever you're ready, hit that. Okay. I'm going to take my uh, 
earbud out and I'm going to ram my little fingers into my ears as far as I can at the time. Um, go ahead and hit the alarm three times. Go. Excellent. It works. My ears are ringing. Bank voltage reading negative 20 and coming back up nicely. Flip it over to dump. And, and that will... is not screaming. And Elizabeth is not screaming. So we'll get a little video of her to ask her if that startled her. <laughs> okay, excellent. Ah. Good job, boss. Thank you. Ooh, that smell in the morning. Yes. It's 5 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. I can't want to do that again. You want to do that again? Sure. Why not? We can do that. Dig down. I want to find a Monster Energy can. There's got to be one. Hold on. Hold on. What's all this diet crap? We'll wait for the compressor to stop. Yep. Diet cream soda. You want to do this one? Sure. I'm waiting for the compressor. Oh, okay. That's amazing, because I drank enough throwing them in there. We probably blew them all off, probably. They fit better. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're that long. Did well. There we go. Yes. Take a strand of wire. Ooh. There. I want to do Dr. Brown's, though. Strands of we wire. have a can of Dr. Brown's Diet Cream Soda. I'm not a big fan of cream soda to start with, but diet has got to be bad. It is sacrifice to the God. Okay. Who's going to step on the switch this time? I think Mikey should do it this time. Okay, we'll let Mikey. You'll notice the lights on the top. That's something that we changed last time around. That is the load resistor to charge the bank. When you first turn, when you first start charging the bank, the capacitors read as a dead short. So the entire voltage that we're feeding in gets eaten up by those light bulbs up there. As the capacitor bank charges, the bulbs get dimmer. I'm just crossing 900 volts now, and you can see the bulbs are very dim. At some point, the capacitor bank will be nearly fully charged. The bulbs should be just about out by then, because there won't be enough voltage across them to actually light them. We've just crossed 1,300 volts, and we just have a dull glow out of the lights. Crossing 1,500 shortly, now, and the bulbs are just going out. So there's a good indication. When the bulbs go out, you're north of 1,500. We will take this up to the full rated voltage of the bank, which is 1,800 volts. We just crossed 1,700. 50, 60, this will go north of, seven, of 1,800. 1,800 volts. Turning to fire, firing armed. When, when you're ready, Mike. Uh, damn. That's a hell of a lot of smoke. Yes, it is. You know what we forgot to do? <laughs> okay, we're legal, just kind of out of order. <laughs> that shrapnel came back pretty darn far. Yes, it did. What's the voltage on the bank, by the way? Is it already... 0.3.4.5. Oh, that's just excellent. I love the... the... 0.7, 0.6, 0.7, 0.6, 0 .6. Have I told you that I love these meters? Yes. You have. Yes. I, I Would you like to tell us why? Here, I'm going to get the camera for this. Okay. Well, why do you love these meters? I've mentioned that I love these meters, and Justin has just asked why, and so has Mike. I love them because they're programmable. I can make them do anything I want. I can bend them to my will. The only problem I have with it is it's DC only. We need a different uh, input board to handle AC voltages. Um, it's one part out of the inside that if we could get them, we could put up full uh, metering on our Arcturus. And we have a large number of these meters floating around in stock right now. So all I got to do is get those little input boards for AC, RMS AC voltage, and we could wire up Arcturus. 
And that's why I love those meters.